Hi there, it's Lori Dake again with Cal Realty, your Illinois licensed broker. Working from home today because I got a jam-packed day tomorrow. You know, I've had a lot of questions lately and I'm trying to get back to answering a whole bunch of them. And the one that I found was wondering, does a listing agent have to disclose if there are other offers, whether that be in sales or in rentals? Stick around and find out the answer to that and a little bit more. Okay, and we're back. So the question is, should a listing agent disclose if there's multiple offers, or do they have to? Well, I don't know how the rest of the country operates, but I know in the state of Illinois, they don't have to if the seller tells them not to. So what does that mean? That means that you want to put in an offer on a house or a condo, right? And you ask the listing agent, hey, are, they, are there any other offers on this place? If the seller told them, don't disclose that, well, all they can answer is something like that and say, well, I'm not authorized to disclose that. Huh. Well, what's your next play? How are you going to read into that? Because there might be, and they're just not going to tell you, right? If you really like the place, maybe you want to put in a stronger offer than you were initially planning on. Um, otherwise, you know, maybe just put in the offer you planned on and see what happens. But either way, you know, uh, it really depends on how much you like the place, if you're willing to gamble, missing out, right? Now, the question poses too, if they do say, that they're allowed to disclose that. They're like, oh yeah, there, there's two other offers. Do they have to tell you what the terms are? Well, what are the other guys offering? Uh, you know, is there anything that they negotiated on this and that? Well, they don't have to tell you that if the seller told them not to. So maybe they can answer, be like, oh yes, there's two other offers. Okay, so what did they offer? Not allowed to disclose that. Well, poo. <laughs> so again, refer back to what I was saying before is you might have to just put in a stronger offer than you were initially planning if you really like the place. Now, taking that over to the leasing realm, people ask me all the time, hey Lori, are there any other applications on this apartment? Now, I talk to my landlord clients up front and I tell them, I says, now keep in mind, Bob, uh, the credit and background check on this is going to cost $65 and it's not refundable. So uh, it's advisable to let them know that we do have other applications if they ask or right before they put in an application. Um and then just let them know if it looks pretty strong or not. So I do have that conversation with my landlord clients, um, but I can't tell you what other agents are doing and what other landlords are doing. So the other question that I have people asking me is, when is it a done deal? Well, when it's a done deal. <laughs> Just because your offer is approved, just because your application is accepted, that doesn't mean it's yours. There is some time that goes back and forth. And in the case of like a rental, it's yours when you get a copy of the signed lease that's executed. And then when you move in and you get your keys, that's when it's a done deal. Um, when it's a done deal on a sale, no, well, it's you know, after that's closed. So make sure that any questions you have, 
feel free to send them on over to me. And remember, I always have time for you and your referrals.